Welcome to a lesson on writing linear equations in slope-intercept form. We're asked to give the equation of the line in slope-intercept form from the given information. A linear equation is in slope-intercept form if it's in the form y equals mx plus b, where m, the coefficient of x, is equal to the slope, and b, the constant term, is equal to the vertical intercept. As an ordered pair, the vertical intercept would be zero comma b. So in order to determine the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, we need to find the slope and the vertical intercept. So looking at A, we're trying to find the equation of the line that has a vertical intercept of zero comma two and slope negative nine. So notice in this case, we're given all the information we need because the vertical intercept is the point zero comma two, B equals two, and because the slope equals negative nine, M equals negative nine which means the equation of our line in slope-intercept form is y equals negative nine x plus two. In B, we want to find the equation of the line passing through the point two comma three, which notice is not the vertical intercept, with slope negative five. So we are given the slope, so we know that m is equal to negative five, but again, the point two comma three is not the vertical intercept, so we don't know b. But we do know our equation so far would have to be in the form y equals negative five x plus b. Now to determine the value of b, we'll do this algebraically. Since the point two comma three is on this line, that means this ordered pair must satisfy this equation. So if we substitute two for x and three for y, that will leave us with one unknown, b, which we can then solve for. So we'll take the point two comma three and this equation here and perform substitution. So we'll substitute three for y, that would be three equals, and two for x, so negative five times two plus b. Now we can solve for b, so we have three equals, this would be negative 10 plus b. Solving for b, we add 10 to both sides. Simplifying, we have 13 equals, this would be zero, so 13 equals b. So now that we know that b equals 13, we now know the equation of our line would be y equals negative five x plus 13. Let's verify this one on the graphing calculator. To do this, we'll graph the linear equation that we just found and verify the point two comma three would be on the line. So we'll press y equals and ran our linear equation, which is negative five x plus 13. To make sure we have the correct window or the standard window, we can press zoom six. And here's the graph of our line. And now there are several ways to verify the point two comma three is on this line. Let's press second trace, and notice how value is highlighted, so we'll press enter. And now we want to enter the x value of two, our x coordinate. And if we press enter, notice how it tells us the corresponding y coordinate is three, and therefore, the point two comma three is on the line, and we can see the cursor on that point right here, verifying our equation is correct. Now for C, we want to find the equation of the line that contains these two points. Notice neither of these points are the vertical intercept and we're also not given the slope. So our first step is to find the slope. To do this, we'll be using our slope formula given here. Let's go ahead and label the ordered pairs. Let's call this x sub one, y sub one, and x sub two, y sub two. Which means the slope of our line passing through these two points would be equal to this ratio here, where we'd have y sub two minus y sub one, that's 16 minus six, divided by x sub two minus x sub one, which would be four minus two. Simplifying, 16 minus six is 10, four minus two is two, 10 divided by two equals five. So now that we know the slope, we know the equation of our line must be in the form of y equals five x plus b. And just like last time, to find the vertical intercept b, we'll select one of the two points, it doesn't matter which one, perform substitution, and then solve for b. 
let's go ahead and use this first point here. So using the point two comma six, we'll substitute two for x, six for y, and solve for b. So we would have six equals five times two plus b. Simplifying, we have six equals ten plus b. Subtracting ten on both sides. And simplifying, we have six minus ten, that's negative four, equals b. So now that we know that the slope is five and the vertical intercept is negative four, we have all the information we need. m equals five, b equals negative four, and therefore our equation will be y equals five x minus four. This was quite a bit of work, so again, let's verify this on the graphing calculator. Let's press y equals, let's enter our equation, so we'll clear the old equation, and we'll enter five x minus four. Let's go ahead and press graph. So here's the graph of our equation. Notice how the second point here is not going to be on the screen, so this might not work, but let's go ahead and try it. Let's first check the first point, so we'll press second, trace for the calculation menu, press enter for the value feature, enter the x value of two, enter. Notice how our line does contain the point two comma six, and now let's try the second point. So again we'll press second, trace, enter for value, and let's try pressing four. We might get an error because notice the y coordinate of sixteen would not be on the vertical axis, Right now the vertical axis only goes from negative ten to positive ten. So if we press enter, oh, it actually did give it to us, but it didn't show on the screen. So this does verify our linear equation is correct. I hope you found this helpful.